Well, Thomas, uh, how's camp been so far? Obviously, it'll be your last one. Uh, how's it going for you? Camp's going really well. Um, a lot of the young guys are stepping up, you know, offensively and defensively. We're looking good. Everyone's flying to the ball, so it's been good. The, that receiver group, we got so, got some young guys coming in there. Uh, how have some of those guys looked? Good. They're definitely catching on fast. Um, they're doing better than when I was a freshman, so it's definitely good to see. And uh, you know, Bubba and Julian, they're they're definitely handling it really well. How has you know how has, how has the group done so far? I mean, a lot, a lot of people kind of asking about those guys, maybe in that second group behind you, especially those guys. How have, how those guys got to step up? Yeah, those guys have made a huge jump, especially since last year. Um, you know, Sean, Achille, and AJ. Those are the three guys that you see the most improvement from, and uh, it's really great to see because that's just less of a drop off from the ones from the ones to the twos. You, you feel comfortable, obviously, with those guys. You know that they that they can come in, like whether you're in the game or not, that they can come in and, and contribute more this year. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I have a feeling we're you know we're going to be doing a rotation more. So it's like I think those guys, you know, if you know, I'm down the field and we want to run something quick. I can just get off the field and they'll come in and it'll be a, a good rotation. With, you know, with you, obviously, you mentioned getting a rotation in there. You know, maybe, I mean, I'm sure you'd love to have 88 catches or whatever. But you've said before, even if you have fewer than that, if that means, you know, you get more guys in there and you guys can still be an efficient offense, you're, you're totally fine with it. Oh, yeah, I'm totally fine with it. Uh, I think everyone in the receiving room is, is fine with sacrificing whatever we need to do for you know the team and I think the more receivers we can get to play and game ready is going to be a benefit for everyone. You said it kind of you know you said before that kind of you know if, if you can get some of those guys in there more it can maybe get you a little bit rested and you know maybe kind of make when you do get in there you can be a little more efficient even. Yeah definitely like I said you know if I ever run two deep routes and I'm just gassed I'd rather one of them take a rep and full speed than me be tired running back you know. When you go back and look at last year, just talking about junior stuff, you said like maybe at times, I mean, he knows he had 1,400 receiving yards, but maybe at times he, he can even left a, a few out there in terms of yards after the catch. Uh, do you kind of feel that, and, and what might you do to try to you know, take that to the next level this year? Yeah, we've definitely done a lot of drills just for uh, running after catch. Just whether it's routes on air, we catch a ball, and Coach Adams is right there throwing. Uh, we have these huge rubber balls, and he just rolls at us, and we try and juke them. And I think it's been helping a lot, and it's definitely shown in, in the live reps we take in practice. Do you, do you feel like you have room to grow in, in terms of run after the kid? I mean, you personally? Yeah, definitely. I think that's a huge part of my game that I've been working on and that I can definitely improve in. What's, what is it, you know, this offense scored 40 points a game last year, and I think a lot of people are still confident that it can be just as good, if not better. You know, how, why is that, do you think, you can feel that? I think we have a lot of returning guys, and uh, we have a lot of confidence in Coach Harrison, too. Um, you know, you can see that practice, everyone trusts him, and especially Brett, he's taken huge improvements too. So I think that our whole team's just trusting each other and uh, we have pretty good chemistry right now. How has, how has Brett maybe improved the most? I know one of the things he mentioned, you know, was, was kind of deep ball accuracy. I mean, how have you noticed him improve? I would definitely say deep ball accuracy too. Um, I think he's more comfortable with his reads as well. You know, going from one to two, even a three to four. So I think that's a huge step for him and uh, he's definitely improved in that area. One thing we've uh, kind of heard whether it be from coaches down at Mount West Media Days or your <coughs> own coaches is uh, you kind of run the snap one like you would snap 80, 90, whatever it is. What type of uh, attention and focus does it take in order to do that you know, consistently throughout the game? I think it's just not looking too far ahead. Um, you know, you might think this play may not matter or I'm not a big part of this play, but or maybe I'm saving my energy for a shot that I have coming up. But I think if you just attack every play like it's the most important thing, then you know you should be going 100% the whole time. How important is that? I mean, do you, do you feel like it is kind of a unique uh, maybe trait or mentality to have? Yeah, me and Coach Adams talked about it. I think when he first got here, he was saying, you know, a lot of it doesn't matter what your 40 time is or, or what any of your times are, but if you can consistently run your top speed the whole game, then it shouldn't matter. Kind of a funny question too, but everybody calls you a, a really good route runner. Like you don't waste steps. So I mean, I guess how do you achieve that? How do you become a good route runner? Uh, just repetition. I think just paying attention to the details too of what the concept's trying to accomplish. Um, if you know, you know what guy you're trying to maybe draw towards you, or what guy has you in his zone, then it's a lot easier to figure out how you need to run your route. Do you feel like you have a pretty good knowledge or pretty good awareness of that now? I mean, given the experience that you've had. Yeah, I think uh, you know we do a good job too of you know getting the right looks in practice to where it almost is the same thing in the game, so we know what we have to do. What do you think is going to be you know the strength of your group this year? Of the wide receiver, yeah. um, I would say the rotation. 
like we were talking about before, getting those next three guys just almost at the same level of play that we that we're at. So it's just not a big drop off at all. I've seen a guy like Chad Anderson grow, and um, you know Adam's just saying that you know it's always it's about that uh, what, Monday through Friday kind of making sure you take care of all those little things. And I, I've seen Chaz kind of grow to, to where he is right now. Chaz has definitely grown, especially. Um, I think that a lot of it is you know how, how badly he wants it to, and, and you know he's one of the hardest working guys in the receiver room. So it's you know you can see it throughout fall camp. He's definitely catching a lot more balls. He's working on his hands every day. Me and him will stay after practice and, and work on little things all the time. So it's definitely you know good to see that he's improving a lot. Well, what's kind of the, the mindset right now, halfway through basically you know uh, preseason stuff? I mean, are you guys already tired of it? You're ready to play tomorrow? How do you think the last two weeks have kind of gone? Yeah, uh, I think you know we're all ready to play and start the season, but uh, we definitely have some stuff that we still need to work on, and, and we're eager to you know get more looks at uh, ULL right now. But it's it's going well.